And since I am coordinating this retreat in Hamilton, Missouri area, I just thought that I would share with you some of the things that I am taking to retreat. I do not have everything ready, so I can't video everything, but I thought this would be the start of my retreat video. So I am taking one tablecloth that I will use as an actual tablecloth for where we eat dinner. I just decided we might want to be a little fancy there. And I also brought one vinyl tablecloth that I'm going to actually be using as a design wall. And then I also have done a Dollar Tree haul where I've purchased various cleaning supplies. And I am not going to take this out of the bag because if you want to see the Dollar Tree haul, you can head over that way. I'll put a link in the video right here for you. And <laughs> what I didn't have in the haul, I think in the Dollar Tree haul, I showed you where I had purchased this one bag. I only purchased this one bag just to get some plastic knives that we can use because most of the meals we don't need to cut. And so I have, I buy from Sam's, Bulk, Spoons, Forks. So in addition to purchasing Bulk, Forks, and Spoons from Sam's, I also purchased bulk napkins so I just happen to have some here I get the bowls that we're going to need we've got paper plates for snacks and desserts and then I have full-size dinner plates I also went to the home depot store and I purchased some flying insect spray just in case we need it sometimes you have a few flying critters you need to get rid of now that's it for retreat staples. What I'm not going to be able to show you is all of the actual food items. I have purchased all food supplies for corn chowder soup with chicken and I also have purchased supplies for vegetable soup with chicken as well. In addition to that because we are having two soups I have purchased a variety of different crackers. I have some wheat thins, some cheese nips, Ritz crackers, and club crackers. We are also going to be having salads, and I'm just showing you this one Italian dressing here. It's Zesty Italian. Pur purchased it from Sam's as well. And I also have in my refrigerator ranch and poppy seed dressing other food items we're going to be doing road trips and i thought that i would just get some things that were packaged already so i got some fruity snacks from kellogg's this also came from sam's and also from sam's i purchased a box of lorna dune cookies as a dessert item from sam's i also purchased this multi-pack of muffins it has Five each of wild blueberry, banana nut, and chocolate chip. For snacks, I decided to get some Lay's Wavy Original Potato Chips. Skinny Pop Popcorn. And these, starting with the Skinny Pop Popcorn, all from Sam's as well. I've got veggie straws with sea salt. Garlic Parmesan pretzels. And the last food item is the Mountain Trek Mix or Mountain Trail Mix as it used to be called. And I also purchased supplies to make the lemon pound cake if I get a chance and also to make an apple pie if I get a chance. But I do have those supplies as well. So that is it for the food and cleaning items. Let me clear off my table and then I will show you some of the gift items that I've been packaging as well. I 
also forgot to tell you in the last clip in the food category, I also purchased Simply Lemonade Raspberry, Simply Lemonade Regular Lemonade, a gallon of sweet tea, and two cases of water in the bottles. Um, and now we're ready to show you things that are going to be actual gift items to the participants. First thing is the bag. Again, this bag and uh, some of the things in here actually came from the Dollar Tree, so go back and check that haul. I made luggage tags that we're going to use as name tags. On the back, I do have the recipient's name, address, and telephone number. So once we're done with retreat, they can use it as an actual luggage tag. Um, again, we have stuff from the Dollar Tree, this drinking cup. I have washed all of the supplies as well. We have the lint roller, which is part of the Dollar Tree, lotion part of Dollar Tree haul. And then I have little containers that I purchased from the Dollar Tree that I actually put M&Ms in. And then I made a little card emergency kit for quilters telling you what the various colors of the M&Ms mean. And we have a container that has chocolates and caramels and peppermints. And then each person also receives a welcome book. And in this welcome book, it has the agenda, a flyer for MQX. And it also has patterns to the projects that we're going to be working on during the week. So this is what they will get when they first come to retreat. So another one of the gifts they're going to receive is the device stand. I actually prematurely released this video by mistake and then once it was out I couldn't pull it back. I have a video for the device stand covers and I'll put a link at the eye above. In addition they're going to receive one of these African placemats that I made and I also have a video of just showing this project as a completed project. And the last thing that I actually made is these composition notebook covers. There's also a video for this and I will link it at the eye above. And then some other things that I'm just giving as gifts. Sometimes you may need a little bit more fabric. I have some floral prints here. I put about four pieces in each bag. They're various different sizes. So I have bags of floral prints that I am just going to have them select. And then in addition, I also am giving the participants books and I have a book haul for this as well. So they will get to choose between these books, which one they want. And then I have one pattern. At retreat, we're going to be working on projects and or playing games. And I have pre-cut everything for them. These are just little quickie projects that they can do for Christmas gifts and then they can go home and choose their own fabrics. So I just pull some things that I'm no longer attached to per se for these projects. The first project that I have prepared here is fabrics to make microwavable bowls. We're actually going to be needing these at retreat to heat our soups and so I thought it would be great for them to have as a little quick class and then I also have the batting that goes with that project. We're also going to be making travel size Kleenex holders and so these are the fabrics here that are already pre-cut for them for the Kleenex holders. We're going to make a project <laughs> So we're going to make this project on the back of a package of Tonga Treats. It's a Simply Elegant Table Runner. And you can get the pattern online if you go to Timeless Treasures. And we are just going to make this table runner with just the fabrics that are in the kit. And I have two different charm packs um, as far as fabrics. And so they'll just be duplicates of them at that point. But I do have enough for all of the participants. One game that we're going to play is called Strip Poker. And I have purchased some of the Moda 
scrap bags at Hancock's of Paducah and Quilting a Day. And then I also have cards in here. And so I just have, I took all of the packages. I think I bought like four packages and then I divided them into seven groupings so that I could just sort them equally. You may or may not end with your fabric scraps. <laughs> And we're also going to make friendship blocks, but unfortunately I don't have that bag cut yet. So that is it for this portion of the video. Maybe the next time I come back to you, I will have my car packed or either be on the road to the retreat. But I will see you next time. Hi, it is actually September 11th and I have been on the road for about maybe a little over an hour, hour and a half maybe, and we are on our way to Kansas City so that we can pick up Claudette. I have my friend Sarah, whose car is over there. But we're hoping to get into KC early uh, to pick up Claudette and then see if we can perhaps find a quilt shop that is not on our list already. So hi everybody, it's actually 2 a.m. in the morning on Wednesday and we have been at retreat or have been traveling to retreat on Tuesday. So we went to, Sarah and I drove from St. Louis together and we drove to Kansas City to pick up Claudette from the airport and then we had an excursion with that because we, neither one of us had visited the Kansas City airport. So that was interesting. And then we found our way into Hamilton about 2 p.m. today. So we've been in Hamilton now 12 hours. Um, most of the ladies just went to sleep. I'll probably go to sleep in the next hour to hour and a half. But I wanted to give you a recap. We did visit some of the Missouri Star shops. I think we only missed two. We got a daily deal, which I will show you in the show and tell but I just wanted to give you a little tour of our facilities minus the sleeping area because some of the ladies are asleep so we are actually staying at home in Hamilton and it's in Hamilton Missouri so I am at the front door to Quilters Paradise and this is what you would see when you're looking left when we came in they had the room was not organized anyway so we set it up and we really didn't know the best use of this space we have seven people so we did some teas and then we also did some uh, one back-to-back -back table so we have two sisters that are sitting here Kathy is working on a pretty cool string block here just gorgeous and this is some of her stacks of strings and she even has some paper piece pineapple blocks back there and then other fabric things over there and this is her work area <laughs> so very productive we had lots of gifts that were given to us today that I'm sure you will see in show and tell that I will not have shown you in the series of videos that are coming up looks like her sister here is making double four patch blocks I don't see anything else oh she also had us sign some signature blocks that she's going to make a quilt with and then we did that for her here we have Sarah's area she taught us how to make these bowls here that was our icebreaker for today and I think that's what Sarah's been working on today is just making more fabric bowls and then we have this is Sarah's stuff I think this is also Sarah's and Sarah also has this stuff under here so and she brought her own chair and this is Sarah's as well these two items and then this is Claudette's area 
Sarah let her borrow her sit up on her gypsy sit up on and then that's Claudette's stuff here and yeah so this is her work area she left it nice and neat so she could start over tomorrow over here we have Gail's space she's working on this beautiful quilt that uses a lot of pretty well it's set, I'm thinking florals but she's also got some other geometrics but just beautiful beautiful fabrics just gorgeous these are her actual blocks she said that she ran out of the white so she's going to pick up more of that in Missouri Star tomorrow and then we have Jennifer Jennifer's using her new pin cushion she actually made one for everyone very nice and these are Jennifer's blocks that she's working on and she has various things over here for her large half square triangles and then she's working out of this container with her half square triangle she says she did a swap and received a lot of these so she's trying to make sure that they're all the same size so she's squaring them up and making sure the pattern is right here it's called free spirit and it is by laundry basket quilts very pretty Just gorgeous fabrics. Love the batiks. And then we have my area. So I am working on a straight string quilt. I just got it pieced and I'll show you. But I'm putting this on here first so you can see what numbers are included on this quilt. So any straight string that I receive from people that were number 1 through 96 is included for straight strings only. And I am working on piecing the border strips. That's what these are. And that's about it. This is my work area. I have not organized, but I wanted to at least clean some of it up. I got bags down here that I'm using for show and tell. These are my surplus stack and then under the table I've been storing my projects and things like that and here is my actual string quilt that I have laid out on the floor and it is way too big for me to show you the other way so I am just going to show you like this hopefully <laughs> can't see it all in the camera and it's very pretty. I only, uh, I did not lay these out for placement. I just used the block number because that way I could show you the grid in order and you would know where your block was based on your number. And I am going to use this as my border. I'm going to do a black stopper border and then go back into this strip border. So that's what I will be working on next for this quilt is actually getting the border on this particular quilt so that's my job for tomorrow and yes so at least I got one quilt top piece the actual center piece so that's a good start and this is 48 blocks in this particular quilt so yes I'm really liking it over here we have a sofa and we have a rocking chair that was all over this area <laughs> and then we have really like a little kitchenette where we don't have water here which I forgot that we didn't have water then we have a refrigerator here but what she did was she made sure that we could use the carriage house kitchen this is not part of the normal retreat area so she said we could use this area since we needed running water she provided the coffee pot and then I brought all kind of water. I brought this decaf coffee. She actually has regular coffee so I'm glad I brought the decaf because I know me and my friend only drink decaf. I made the famous pound cake here, lemon pound cake with the caramel icing. Let you guys get a good look at it. <laughs> It's been traveling, so it's not going to be 
the prettiest, but yeah. Caramel, it smells so good. Let me put that lid back on here. <laughs> but that's for our dinner tomorrow. They can start eating it. And then this is our snack table. And this isn't even all the snacks. People brought snacks and then I still have loads of snacks under there. And then we have a little sitting area that we can use. And then we have another ironing station in here, as well as in the far back, we have an ironing station that I forgot to mention. And then this door here is actually our bedroom. We have eight beds in that room. And then we have two bathrooms like this. One's here and one is off the actual bedroom. So here's the walk-in, shower, and then the toilet, of course. But yeah. So far, retreat is great. Got a wonderful group of ladies here. We are all being productive. A lot of people were tired because we had one person drive nine hours. We had one person had to fly in and she had to leave her home at 4.30. And I got up early. And so, yeah, and it's been just a long day. So uh, I am actually going to go to bed. We're gonna have breakfast at eight. So I will see you tomorrow. I don't know. I'll do some videotaping inside of the shop so you can see some of the shops. See you then, or I say tomorrow, but it's really going to be today. <laughs> but I'm going to actually go to bed at a decent time, like 3 o'clock, maybe 3.30, because I'm going to take my shower first and chill out a little bit. But yes, see you then. Bye-bye. So hi, it's T, and we have had a full day. Actually, we were slated to do the Missouri Star Quilt Company shops, and people kind of individually went out on their own. I did not go out to the shops today, and so hopefully I will be able to do some recording on Saturday at least. We have road trips planned for Thursday and Friday. So we may just run in if we like the daily deals or not. Today they had the daily deal of, let's see, free shipping. And they had, if you spend $50, you got triple points on your, whatever the Missouri Star cash incentive program is. I'm blocking the name of it right now. But that's what it was. And so I did not go to the shops today. I decided to stay. And so I actually finished the straight strings quilt top. And now I have the rows sewn, but they're not sewn to each other on the diagonal string quilts. And I just thought that I would share that with you right now. So here is the quilt on the floor. Remember those blocks that were already set in that format where they already made the diamonds? I put those in the top row. I had exactly six of those blocks. So it worked out very well. And then I just made the rest of the blocks into larger diamonds. This is what I'm working on tonight. I'm hoping that I can at least get these rows sewn. It's about almost nine o'clock and I'm thinking I'm going to go to bed early because the road trips, we're gonna be doing a lot of driving. So I wanna be fresh for driving. Um, what else did we do today? I actually provided soup and salad for dinner. I had also chicken salad for lunch that we had earlier in the day, fruits. We had lemon pound cake with dinner. We also had <laughs> some Moscato <laughs> that we shared. So it was Jennifer Mazard's birthday last weekend. So we just kind of celebrated a little bit on her birthday. So that is gonna probably be it for tonight and I will come back tomorrow and show you any progress after we do our road trip let's see I think I forgot to tell you that we also made Kleenex holders and we'll probably be showing some of this in the show and tell that we're gonna have Saturday night so I'm not gonna show you that right now because it's not 
that big of a deal, but we're mostly showing and working on projects that are quick gift ideas. So that is it for right now. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.